Good everyone, welcome back. This is day four. So this is the start of day four for the out of the water rebuild work on Kiara. Um, if you haven't seen the last two episodes, I'll leave a link or they'll be in the playlist for the boat build. Um, yeah, go check them out, see what you think, comment, all that jazz. Um, if you're liking what you're seeing, please feel free to subscribe. Doesn't cost you a cent and uh, helps me out and really helps the boat build out. So this episode, it's all about woodwork, uh, more or less, anyway. Um, so the only thing that's not woodwork is we're just gonna paint the, uh, paint the leg and then that's effectively the entire underside of the boat done. So it's good, it's been three days worth, but it's, it's been a lot of work and a big push. So anyway, uh, I might take you for a bit of a walk around and show you what our sort of hit list is for timber work while it's, while it's up, on the, uh, up on the hard stand. I have been, I've previously done a, a video on all the major aspects that are wrong. But I can't fix them all in this in this episode of, uh, well not episode, in this time I've got on the stand. So I need to concentrate on the ones that are actually affecting the boat. The floor. This side has to be replaced. It's gone. Uh, in one of the very early videos, I put a patch on this window surround. It is gone. There is nothing behind it. So from sort of there to about there, nothing. That's got to get done. This, this window surround here, or this portion of it, is gonna to have to get replaced. These window surrounds are actually still in good condition. The, the fascia timber's not, it's, it's stuffed, but the structural surround is fine. So we don't, don't need to worry about too much of that. Moving forward, that soft hole there, I'm gonna to have to try and figure out what's going on. Forward windows. <clears throat> yeah, we've got verticals here that need to get done. Under here isn't actually too bad, but you know, all the surrounds are stuffed like everywhere else. The worst surround, the worst side for the windows oh, is over here. So we've been doing a little bit of digging around already, and that's obviously gone. And it comes all the way back to where are we? Probably about here, which is, you know, probably a meter, two, two meters worth. So all that's gonna have to get replaced. The vertical sections still feel good. And there's obviously a join there of some sort. So yeah, whether that's where the glass comes up and joins, I'm not sure, but that's gotta get done. Has to get done. There's so much water, fresh water coming in there, it's not funny. We're gonna have a go at replacing as many of these side timbers as possible um, with the merbau that I've got uh, same with up up here these little these trim pieces are coming off because they are already <laughs> we move back oh, it's hard to walk around on this gantry but we'll make do okay so back in the back of the boat these are getting replaced um, and like I've mentioned previously I'm gonna move this one here it's coming back to this portion so that'll be all new which means I'm gonna have to remake the doors which I'm completely fine with because they're shot so new doors and new timbers new timber surrounds that the doors sit on and that'll tidy the whole back area up we don't know exactly how we're gonna tackle back here yet and while it's pretty shabby and not good it's not letting water in so it's on the list but I don't know if I'm gonna to get to it this time around. I'd like to, but you know, we'll see. So yeah, um, stick around. I've got some good mates helping me and uh, big thank you to anybody who has come and helped already. Um, yeah, Uncle Nev, Dad, Mick, just all of you, you're absolute legends. Um, yeah, Tony, Nev, just everybody. Um, it's been, I, I genuinely couldn't have done it without any of you. Bales as well. So, all right, let's get to work because there's shit loads to do. Sorry, heaps to do and not much time to do. All right, so these are the first bits we're gonna start hooking into. I wanna pull these sections out, see if I can find out what's under them. So I think we might start digging. All right, try not to fall. Thank 
Imagine why there was water getting in the boat. Oh, that is solid still. Alright. Let's keep moving. So that's. Back to there. Oh, that's good. There we go. Oh, that is really good. So far, that's beautiful and solid. It really is just a patch. They just put a patch on there. Oh, the bridge off there. Still see it? Yep. Maybe up a bit. All right, I'm gonna keep digging all this section out and I'll bring you back when I find what I find. All right, so I thought I'd bring an update. These are the back timbers that go around where the doors are. So, move our planks, which is what all my timber replacement is. Um, and we're laminating them together. So up there, they're 40 by 70. And these are 19, so close enough. We're gonna laminate them together. So we sand them, wipe them down with acetone to get the oil off, and then uh, bring them together. And I've got some, if I can find it. There's some over here. It's over here somewhere. Let's have a look. I don't know where it went. There it is. We found it. We found it. You can come for a walk. So, polyurethane glue. Um, I did some test pieces previously. I do have a video put together, but it wasn't very interesting. Um, and it rocks. It, yeah. So when you put it together and let it cure properly, you break the timber before you break the break the glue bond. So that's what we're doing. glued in with about 80,000 tonnes of glue. Cut it out.
Und. Ah. Nein, nein, nein. What we bring up for a bit of an update. This is how we're going over on the really bad window side. And it's really bad. Uh, up there is, yeah, not fantastic. And we're going to assume that as we come down here, it's going to be basically the same most of the way. So, yep, they're all, yeah, but then I've punched it there. there. So, the deck look like there? The deck looks okay <laughs> there. Right there eh? That there probably. Oh. Okay. Oh, yeah. I was past the stab and test, it's half the back. <laughs> Can't stab too hard. I'm, I'm, I'm using the blunt bit. <laughs> I'm using the blunt bit. <laughs> uh, that don't feel terrible there. I yeah. just kind of just keep cutting back till I find it. Pretty much. Find a hard spot and then work my way through, mate. I think that's about what we've got to do. Yeah. Uh, we'll keep going. Hands are tight, eh? That's it. It's got it coming up. And then we'll go over here. Been working on getting these, getting these soft bits of the deck gone. So that bit there is actually not terrible. The timber's soft under it, but I'll let it dry out. That might just be something for wood hardener. Most of the beam's good. That's a pretty, pretty solid beam. But down here, sort of come up okay. It's like good news, bad news. So the main beam section is actually pretty solid most of the way, but there are a few softer bits up in here that's you know pretty munched out this side timber i don't know what you call it rub rail maybe that actually runs the length of the boat right on the side i don't know what i'm gonna do because i can't replace it while i'm on this um i can't replace it while i'm on this stand because well of how it is so i'm not sure there um, I think we're just going to have to keep plugging away. I'll get all the crappy bits of wood out and then we'll make a decision from there. But I'm about to turn my attention. Oh, I'm about to turn my attention down to that side window and we'll see how we go. Alright. End of the day update time. We got tiny laminating pieces. More pieces. We got nev sand and bits. They're infill panels. We got a bit of an infill panel there. Let me take you up and show you what size hull Tony made in my boat. You can see it already. So, this is what we've had to cut out. Now, I knew I'd be cutting a fair portion out, but don't get me wrong, this exceeded my expectations a little bit. So, and look, this is where, if you tuned into this expecting like a, you know, Samson Boat Co. style restoration, you're going to be disappointed. Because it's not. I'll take you in and give you a look at the inside of it in a sec. This is what I've been working on over this side. So i got soft spot of the deck cut out. Timber below it's actually not that bad. This one is not that good. So... <clears throat> This timber's good, this is main structural beam. It's a little bit soft, but I mean, you know, given the so that, that piece of timber's probably about, I don't know, an inch and a half, maybe two inches deep, and quite wide and laminated to that, oh sorry, down there it's, it's spliced in. It's solid. What's not solid are these bits. So those sections there make up the outer portion of the rib that runs up the side of the boat. They're not actually part of the, well, they're, they're attached to this, but they're not a structural part of that. And there's nothing I can do to replace them right now. I've, I've thought about it and thought about it, and I just can't. The way this slip is set, I can't pull them off. I can't take them out. I can't really get them out of there. They are what they are. So I'm making a ply plate that goes all the way over it. I'm going to dry it as best as I can. I'm going to just tip a whole crap load of wood hardener down there in a vain attempt to slow it down. And at a later date when I have more time and probably more money, I'm going to have to replace the entire lot all the way around the boat. I sort of thought I would, but anyway, it's just here. It's just, I have to stop somewhere. I've only got basically not even four days left now, and I have to stop somewhere. 
So inside the boat, oh, it's a bit of a mess. So this is what it looks like from the inside. So yeah, we've come all the way back to here, into here, so we'll scarf it in so that it's a bit stronger. But basically, it, it is what it is. Um, we'll make, we've got uh, this thickness here is inch thick. Uh, was solid timber and we've got some uh, marine ply to go back in inch thick ply so we're basically just going to come through and make a big plywood fill panel um we'll it's about all we can do um yeah the structural portion of the of the support which you can't really see from this angle is fine it's more than solid this isn't this isn't structural it just supports a uh, play uh, panel that went over here it can get replaced at a later date. It, it's bad. I know it's bad, but it just it just is what it is. I don't have the time to do all of it. But I'm I'm pretty happy with today. We're going to still try and get this this infill panel cut. We're going to have to replace part of the top deck section as well. That's okay. It'll all get glassed over anyway. So yeah. Um, so tomorrow back on there here we go so tomorrow is going to be sort of more of the same more woodwork um yeah i'm really hoping to get that panel in tomorrow um painted primed in and also the one window on on that side of the boat that's got a similar thing it's only one window i i can't imagine it cutting that much out so hopefully it can be done tomorrow as well so yeah anyway right up we'll uh what are we doing? We'll pick you back up in the morning. Uh, days, are, days are pretty long and I'm starting to get tired, but still heaps of work to do, so push on. We'll see you in the morning. Morning everyone. Welcome back to day five, I think. Oh no, it's getting a bit blurry now. Uh, Pretty much pick up where we left off yesterday. Dirty big hole on the side of the boat. Dirty big hole in the floor of the boat. <laughs> There's just holes everywhere. Um, we've got Dad here today helping, and Tony's still here doing his magic. Uh, Dad's replacing some seacocks at the moment, and I'm about to go and try and install the uh, the replacement sections for the deck that I made yesterday. So they're all primed and painted. They're going to get glued down. Uh, it's another good day. Another well, glorious day, actually. Um, we've jagged the weather. I've, I've well and truly jagged the weather. So, yeah. All right. I can stand there and look at the view for a while, but I've got to get some work done. All right, time for an update. Prop is prop speeded. And it's still tacky, so don't touch it, all right? Uh, there's a whole separate video on the prop. That'd become that. Actually, you probably would have seen it by now by the time this comes out. Props, props speeded. We're getting the green stripes off the boat because I hate them. I don't know why, I just I just don't like them. So, they're getting there. They're coming off. Just the it up here is smashing away, as you can hear. Getting the new running board in here. So she's all primed, everything under there has been smashed with wood hardener it's it's a patch like i said but i'll tell you what it's a bloody good patch and we're going to glass over it anyway and it's much better than the soft crap that was there before so that's where we are here step on it because i know i can step on it because he built it we got a whole big pile of timber here i'll take you and show you why there's a pile of timber there in a minute so along here we've got <coughs> new portions of the deck that were rotted away and then there's been a lot of work inside getting everything cleared up so we might as well go for a wander down and have a geezer that still sketchy walking around up here so not much more realistically is going to happen back here we just don't have time the boat's an absolute mess because we're making it cleaner i want to get all of the crap <laughs> I want to get all of the crap off the boat. 
Go on, get off the boat. Go on, go on, go on. <laughs> so there was just so much wiring and just just stuff that's not hooked up anymore. Plus, we made it much bigger up here. So up here there used to be shelf there, yeah, like a storage shelf there, a storage shelf there, and they're gone. This used to be a really difficult room to get around in. And now I'm not very tall. And yes, I'm standing on the bottom of the boat. Hey, quiet on set. <laughs> yes, I'm standing on the bottom of the boat. But I can stand up in here and I've got room. There's room for days. So yeah, it's it's much better in here, much more usable. You wanna, I've had necessity before to get up here and get to the anchor and get to bits and pieces in the chain locker and you just couldn't do it. There was just too much crap in the way. So that's, that's changed. It's much better in here now. Still a little bit more to go, but for the most part, and we'll show you, Dad's been working very hard in the head, finishing off what I started. So we're much better in here. The sink's gone. There will be another sink go in, but not there. I think we're going to put a corner sink in. But we can patch that hole. We're going to put something over the um, over the outlet just so no water splashes up in. It's it's good. This is a blank slate. We can work with this. As for up here. I don't really think we're going to do anything with this just yet. I might sort of just trim out and put a new piece in here, just so it is. I might come back to there. Just a new bit. That I'm going to just soak with wood hardener um, for now. Um, the rest of this is solid. That's still solid. Up there is good. This front's good. So I think we're going to be okay. We're in good stead in here. Um, and everything else pretty much stays as is. So over here, where there's now air conditioning. Biggest changes inside is we've got a new vertical support for the roof where there wasn't one before. Um, that's Mobile, um, which is what everything's getting made out of in here. And then it's all been cut and stepped so that we can come along with some inch, inch thick marine ply and basically remake this whole section all the way through in one big, big piece. Uh, and then it'll all get glassed in and everyone will be happy. Coming soon to a boat near you. Well, this boat near me. So, yeah. All right, we're going to get back to work because we've still got heaps to do and we're running out of time to do it. I'll pick you back up when there's another uh, another decent update to give you. All right, and just because we don't have enough work to do, Dad's looking for something to do. Doesn't keep the beer cup. Yeah, so that doesn't work. It's not hooked up. I don't like it anyway. We've got little gas cookers that we use and they work fantastic. That's where I want the fridge. Fridge is out there. We measured it, it'll sit in there beautiful. That's gotta come out. We're gonna to have to do something with the top. Piss the drawer off, cupboard, sorry. The fridge is going there. So, like I said, we don't have enough work to do. Dad's bored. Oh yeah, got a metal worker doing some woodwork. That'll. This is gonna turn out real good. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, if you... That's my last lot of metal work. No, it's not. No, you it's didn't not. do that. <laughs> All right, so. That's what we're doing. I'm gonna probably see if I can set the time lapse up and watch Dad struggle to get that out of there. Morning everyone. All right. Well, it is the start of the day, but it will be the end of this episode. So I went to try and film an outro yesterday at the uh, Oh, that's a cool thing cruising down there. And uh, yeah, the camera died on me. So anyway, we'll take you for a bit of a look and we'll show you where we are. <coughs> and that's obviously where yesterday ended and today is gonna start. So this window surround or window support is all in. Um, and it's, it's good. It's way more structural than what it was. And uh, our job today will be to clean, uh, prime it. Um, and fiberglass it in so it's not the full fiberglass job i wanted to do on the boat but it's it's what we're going to have to do to get the thing sealed up ready um the other side i'm not sure how much of this i've already shown but yeah so this is the other side deck panels in so that one's in they're all in and glued and done uh yeah we might come in here why not so 
in here. Dad was busy yesterday. So this is down in the chain locker area. Have to excuse me while I wiggle my way in. We, and by we I mean Dad, ripped apart a lot of the stuff up here. So the soles will go back down. But we took out two big shelves that were here. And what that's done is opened the open the area right up. Now, still plenty of storage up there and I can still store my buffers and everything, but it was a real pokey little area that was just full of crap. So that's gone now. And uh, we've got a nice open area, good run up to where the chain and rope, anchor rope stored. So yeah, that was a good big improvement. Um, that's what this internal section looks like. It's not finished finished, but it's, it's, it's good. Um, yeah, far more structural than it was, that's for sure. Uh, the toilet room, I don't know if I showed it or not. It was all stripped, uh, sinks gone. It's back to a point where I can start rebuilding it now. Um, they will get a sink back in there, but everything needed to come out in order for me to put it back in. Uh, down this end, Dad removed the old uh, as you would have seen, I'm pretty sure I did a time lapse on. He's failing to operate a paintbrush correctly at the moment, but he um, <laughs> yeah, he uh, pulled the old stove out, and the fridge goes in there now. And our cooker that we always use sits on top. Got a little bit more finish work to do, but it's it's pretty good. Um, once once I do cabinetry here and, and tidy everything up, it'll all come up much better. But put some surrounds around. Yeah, put some surrounds around it, tidy it up, and. But no, it's good. So Dad's just throwing just a coat of varnish on that, just a quick and dirty coat of varnish to seal it so it doesn't carry on. And anyway, this is where we are. Another, I just, I can't get over the weather we've been having. It is just such a beautiful day today. Um, too nice to be, too nice to be stuck, stuck on a slip. I'd rather be uh, stuck on the water, <laughs> which is what normally happens. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, um, yeah, we're going to leave that there. And what are we going to do? We're going to leave it there, and I've got heaps more work to do. So I got two days left. So it's Sunday today. I've got all of today, all of Monday, and then we go back in the water at seven o'clock in the morning on Tuesday. Um, and then Wednesday I got to get back to work. <laughs> so anyway, all right. Well, thank you all for watching, and if you haven't, please subscribe, um, leave a comment, and uh, yeah. Stay safe. We'll catch you on the next one.